and gentlemen, welcome yourself to a brand new video. Now, one thing that I've been requested to do by far the most is to explain my lyrics from songs. Because in a lot of songs, a lot of songs and a lot of the lyrics in the songs have all kinds of meanings. And I don't consider myself to be like all kinds of different music artists because if you look at The Weeknd, like what, what he does is he's more of a traditional R&B spacey type of vibe creator you know he doesn't he um the only thing that he really changes upon uh, record after record is his lyricism and i love his lyricism his lyricism is on point and works for the type of theme that he's going with but the type of vibe that his music creates is more dark spacey and isn't it doesn't really it's not really changed on uh, each record it just becomes a different a different type of vibe using the same type of things that he's used before like the different like the, the, no, the same type of snares and flares that he has in his music um, where he switches up on the lyricism and the wordplay and mixing it in uh, those different styles but doesn't really change up on the vibe that it creates more just a, a different type of vibe within the same vibe it's still dark, traditional, spacey, R&B type of music. Um, but what I try and do in my music is, I try and take a risk each record. I, like, on each record that I try and do, I try and find different producers to work with. Um, and familiar, like, whenever I choose like producers on my music, I always, one, one thing I always do is I always find out what they've done. I want to find out what what they've done in the music, the type of vibes that they've created, and if the two has certain content that I have for making music. I try and switch up the styles and tones on each record. If you look at um, Darkness, I had never done something like Darkness before I made that song. If you look at About You, that brought my typecast as a hip hop artist who was stuck in a traditional type of um, box and stuff with making music. So it kind of brought that, you know, it's not like I would climb a jest. And Kayla Bromley. If you look at uh, Searching for the Answer, which is on my new record, which is in my new album, Reflection, then obviously that creates a really dark and depressing vibe, and I have never ever done something like that before. Same thing with Fakes and Snakes, same thing with Not Going Back. I had never done songs like that before I did them. I try and switch things up on each record, and I try and be meticulous with what I'm doing. That's why. You know, I could have released Reflection with the track list that I initially announced, but because I wanted a particular tone going with it, because I wanted a certain theme that was consistent yet changing on each song on the record, I um, I decided to um, record another song, which was not going back. Not going back wasn't initially supposed to be on the album yet. It was one of the best songs on the album um, and most popular. So uh, yeah, so I'm going to be explaining lyrics, what they mean, and some things even connect with some of my previous songs. So uh, without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, the first song that I'm going to be doing is Fakes and Snakes, taken off of my, um, taken off of my uh, new album, Reflection. There's a link in the description to go get it. It's on every single retail that you can get it on, it's legitimate. I, I feel so I need to keep on saying that, alright? It's not just released on the platforms that are linked in the description, they're just the biggest platforms to link it on. And I also put a link to be able to get like the hard copy CD. Um, but on Fakes and Snakes, I took a massive risk. I took shots at people, yet I still had a story type of vibe going with it. So, uh, yeah, so first I'm gonna. Uh, show the producers AJ Nix. I've worked with him before. I uh, first worked with him on Victory EP, so I know him quite well. Big Snarly. I've never worked with Big Snarly before, and he's just. Dude, his thoughts are really, really quick. His thoughts are really, really fast, and that's great. He has all these ideas that come to mind, and then he'll just say it, even if it makes sense or doesn't, he'll just say it. Myself, I didn't really do a lot of producing, I just really only helped out with the mastering on the song and that's it. Um, I'm Dan Chase. You know, you, you know Dan Chase. I've worked with him since, since I first started. He's the reason why I'm signed to the record label that I am. He's the reason that I am as big as I am. He's the reason that I even have a career in music. Like, he's just, he's my mentor, man. 
he's, he's, he's a great guy. So, um, oh wait, the song has a bio. Okay, Tracy Kinston is, she puts every single lyric thing. She, she always has a, has a part, has a part in that. So, fakes and sneezes, you misses his call out to his haters and past friends who used his game status for their own personal use. Yes, it is. It's obvious that it is that hate. The song is actually set in a nightclub, as you just kind of gives away in the song's intro. Yep, the song takes place in a nightclub and as... Oh wait, 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 it's more. He goes to a bar with his friend, gets drunk, and as drunk people usually do, start talking about whatever's on their mind, usually without holding anything like that. Yeah, so um, that's actually essentially what happened. Um, it's set in a nightclub, that's the storyline um, of it, and as drunk people do, they spill a lot of truth and don't hold back. So, um, yeah, uh, but as they drink more, they get more aggressive with what they're saying, and you, you, you basically see, and uh, also during the song where, where, like, where it gets more dark in like the last 30 seconds of the song, the beat changes up to be more aggressive than it was before. Alright, so let's actually get into the actual lyrics. I can explain to you. Right, so the intro to this. Yo, you ready to go clubbing? Yeah. Right, get your guns ready. I got a fancy. Depends if you look for a chick list tonight. Nah, no, not really. I'm a little piece of shit that sits in his ass all day watching Netflix. Why can't I have a chick upon staff? Yeah, you're right, you're fucked. Yeah, man, but I'm still gonna enjoy it, right? Yeah, man. Let's get fucked. That's, that's the intro. Alright, so there's one. I got a lot of things to say, but no one else, friend. I can't talk. <laughs> I got a lot of things to say, but no one really wants to hear it. How about the best way people cook? Because I can't even bear it. Share it, spread it. Tell me every bit of matter. Tell me in the face of people. She said it didn't matter. I do what I got. I even sick a speaker. Put it to the top of the beaker. Till it spills. Okay, so the first part, I've got a lot of things to say, but no one really wants to hear it. So that can basically. And it also connects with uh, Not Going Back, which is um, the second to last song on, um, on the album. Um, and what I also kind of say in the next guy is kind of like no one wants to hear my voice and listen through the mic um, and essentially that's true like, I uh, have to make a song about the topics that I want to talk about because no one wants to hear it and when people do hear it the media will always say one thing fans will say another, critics will say another thing uh, talk show hosts, they'll say another thing if it's that relevant uh, to what I'm saying and it's just like it becomes like just a everybody's torn between what it means so to spell it out I have to do it in songs but even then it kind of gets taken out of context so that's kind of me basically saying very briefly that what I was aiming for was to just stir controversy with this song and make people think the things that would tear them um, like tear them apart in terms of like one, pe one set of people think this, another set of people think this that type of mindset with it, and I think I, I think I did it. So hiding behind the bats with other people because I can't even bear it, share it, spread it, and tell them that every bit matters till it shatters in the faces of the people who said it didn't matter. I do what I'm going, and she gets bleaker. And um, what I was basically going for there, uh, thick people usually hide behind the backs of other people. That can also relate to people who have fake friends and they're finding that out or they found out ages ago. I'm behind the backs of a people because I can't bear it. So when I basically say things in a song, if I say things in real life, if I'm saying something real, then hide the back hide behind the backs of people because I can't even bear it. So that can go to, to all kinds of things. Even if I'm dissing people, then that can go to them. Like if if I diss them so badly and then they'll hide back to back, um, they'll hide behind the backs of other people. So um yeah. Share it, spread it, and tell me that everything matters till it shatters in the face of people who say they don't matter. It's kind of throwing me off how they put a comma there. Tell me that every bit matters. They don't. Comma should freaking go after the word matters. Dude, that is a massive typo. Sort it out. Um, so, the share it, spread it thing. Like, well, if they're hiding behind the backs of other people, then share it even more. Spread it and tell them that every bit matters till it shatters in the face of the people who say it didn't matter. So that can go as a way around saying something in real life. If anyone says something in real life and it might be true, then make them understand that it's true. It can relate to all kinds of things. That's what I'm basically doing in this song consistently. Is I'm saying all these things 
that have all these different meanings and can be done and taken in different ways and explored in different ways. So that's what that kind of means is that I, I'm, what I'm doing in my song is I'm making people think things, having one set of people think one thing, having another set of people think another thing. That's what I'm trying to go for in the song. So, uh, right, the next part. They say nothing's gonna happen, so it's best if you just chill, but I can't if I know it. Listen, it's got me out of the mill. I come up with the bullshit and it all went down to the hill to the bottom of the pit. Um, so what that bit basically means is, they say nothing's gonna happen, so it's best if you just chill. So, if people come at me and diss me, then I'm saying that nothing's gonna happen. But if I can't, if the snakes know that they got me out of the mill, I'm in the mill. So, um, th that can go to all kinds of things in my life, whether it is snakes, right, and I don't use them with my friends, and, but just like using me, because after I, after I broke mainstream, like, after I became, became a mainstream artist, then um, all kinds of different people came back into my life and kind of used me, um, so that's essentially what that can relate to me the most, um, because I'm kind of doing it in first person now, um, what I'm doing. See nothing's gonna happen, so it's best to just chill. I can't if the snake has got me out of the nail. So if the so fake and they're just using me, I don't really know that. So they've got me out of nail, and I'm only just realising that they come out with the bullshit and it all went downhill to the bottom of the pit. So I'm also changing rhyming patterns, and during that, like after the pit part, um, where I say the pit, then um, what happens is. Um, I change up on the wordplay on, um, on the beat and that's something that I, I do consistently on the song I change the type of wordplay that I'm using on five, six different times on the song um, so uh, yeah, I kind of wanted this song to be a challenge for like my wordplay and stuff like that and try and break typecast in terms of whenever I do rap then I stick to three types of wordplay that's it, so this kind of broke that and so they're not going back on the next kind of other songs on this record. So um yeah out of the bullshit and it went down to the pit. So when I come out with the bullshit it all went downhill to the bottom of the pit. So that means if I find out that they're using me or that they've used me then it all goes downhill to the bottom of the pit. Shit happens. You know you have fallen out with friends, you have fallen out with your friends. Nah but I'm gonna heal and, and what? Nah but I ain't gonna nah but I ain't I, I don't think those are lyrics. The, the lyrics are, nah, but I ain't gonna fall down. But the lyrics say, nah, but I ain't gonna, I'm gonna fall down. That is not the lyrics to the song. Who wrote? <laughs> Who put these lyrics on it? It says one contributor, so one person contributed on this song, so it's Tracy. Tracy, the lyrics are, nah, but I ain't gonna fall down. I'm gonna heal and move on. The lyrics. I don't even have to say, I don't even say nah twice, I only say it once, nah but I'm gonna fall down, I'm gonna heal and move on. Um, so, so just leave me, so that's also me, kind of like switching up on what I'm basically talking about. Obviously when you fall out with your friends or haters or whatever, and then you kind of like, just, just leave me for what never, for me before this. So obviously if you argue with friends, you, you um, feel like you're alone, but then you'll maybe be agitated when you come to something thinking about it. So that was kind of like the, the thing that I had when thinking about this. So, you know, what just leave me if you want never me? There's really only one verse, split into two parts. Okay, okay, well, whatever. But I said you had me in a corner, but you only let me out to send my debts with a dollar. And least thing around because my fame tapers get flicks on me using the crane. It's been boxing down the pavement in the way. But I think it's interesting because this might be. And this part I feel as though it's um, a really, really meaningful part. I said you had me in a corner, obviously. Had me in a corner, you know, uh, because there were things and stuff. And I really, really realised that a lot of my main friends were really fake people. So I felt like I was in a corner. If I get out of the corner, if I push them all away, the then I'd only have really like four or five people who are real with me instead of like, I don't know, maybe 20, 30 people who run. But you let me out because you saw my next group of dollars. Um, so, it, the corner part, I kind of confine that into one meaning, but it's split into two meanings. It's kind of hard to explain all the stuff on this song. Uh, for sitting on me in a corner, that's one part, but at the same time, for sitting on me in a corner, but you only let me out. 
Um, so, yeah, it's kind of like this. You have me on corner. You have me on the corner in terms of you. Most of my friends en ended up being snakes. I mean, you know, I'm kind of based on some stuff that happened like right after the release of Victory EP and um, before I kind of pushed them away. Um, but you only let me out because you just want to get to Yeah, um, no other lyrics in there, but you only let me out, not but you let me out. I'm using a crane. Obviously, if you have a lot of money, then fakes are gonna obviously want to cut off that, you know. And only stick them on because my friend tables get flicked. So I'm using a crane, so obviously tables get flicked. So the song is basically me flipping the tables because I'm using the crane. So obviously I'm using the crane and then lifting the boxes and I'm paving the way. So cranes lift things so I can be like lifting bottles and I'm paving the way so essentially I'm carving my own path and I'm not being kind of like trapped it's just boxes around me and that can also be like trapped in a box so that can be a metaphor for that part but I turn this into a song because this is my domain so I also switch rhymes so corner dollars and then change it to fame crane paving the way domain so um yeah but the, th the thing that i've done there is to keep consistent rhymes and also make it not uh, be that noticeable and change the tone of like work and stuff like that because i'm changing the rhymes from dollars to fame is the fact that fame isn't the punchline it's kind of like a rhyme that's setting up the punchline during the normal um during the normal build up. So only stick around because my fame table get flicked I'm using the crane, lifting boxes and I'm paving the way and I also do that again on the paving the way. Paving the way. So those two rhymes, the A sound in paving, way, so paving sets up the word way so that, that doesn't sound weird. But I turn this into a song because this is my domain. So then the way that I say paving like paving the way and then the way that I say domain like domain instead of domain then it's kind of like it sounds like it's a direct rhyme from paving but it's not i just uh, change it that's that's the thing if you want to learn how to write songs you don't have to have complete rhyming words what you need to have is you need to have good wordplay but you also need to bend the rhymes to force them to work it's kind of like that's the best way to make things rhyme people say nothing rhymes with orange it's not good if you just approach it and say orange but if you just be like Orange, syringe, George, porridge, dorange, forange, you know, there's a lot of words that rhyme with orange. So, um, yeah, next part is great. I fucking hate that I trusted these bitches to force me down the spiral. Whatever I give them is never that ample. So, I change up the, um, I'll, I'll play a bit of the song after I explain the lyrics to it. So, um, I fucking hate that I trusted these bitches to force me down the spiral. Whatever I give them is never that ample. So, what I do there is I'm changing the wordplay on that part. Manipulate me and count my life with a chisel. How was I supposed to know you winding up my fizzle in my mind when I'm going to just listen? After the ninth part, I give myself a mission. So, that part right there um, is I fucking hate that I trusted these bitches to force me down the spiral. I trusted these bitches, but they forced me down the spiral. But I'm kind of like splitting that into two meanings. I fucking hate that I trusted these bitches to force me down the spiral. You know, when you kind of like get lured into a false sense of security. So you're being lured down the spiral, but then they push you down the spiral. It's kind of like it's kind of like that, you know. It's kind of like they lure you into a false sense of security, then push you um, off the edge, essentially. But also at the same time, I just did these bitches, but then they force me down the spiral. So it's kind of like two meanings there, the way I can do it. Um, whatever I give them is never that ample. So whatever I give them is never that ample. So whenever I give them, they want more. Manipulate me and carve my life with a chisel. Uh, chisels are a tool. Um, so I'm kind of like using the whole crane metaphor again. Uh, kind of like, just like that. I was like supposed to be wanting that my fizzle of mind when I went to listen. Um, so fizzle mind, that's kind of what you mean is because it sets up the next part when I went to listen. Fizzled mind, when you're drunk, you kind of get a fizzled, sizzled mind. Uh, so it's kind of like saying that I'm at the same time, it's kind of like standalone. How was I supposed to know you winded up my fizzled mind? So that you kind of like 
essentially like you know how you wind up those things that pop out on boxes and then you're basically setting them up it's kind of like that was the metaphor i was kind of like aiming for i think i kind of missed it here um but it kind of works as a standalone i mean i want you to listen to the pattern in my song mission i'm kind of continuing the whole story that this song has i might just get spend a little third but i just think i'm doing what i'm in kind of like um a hint kind of like in a thing referencing the Expendables 3 movie, if you watch it you understand what I mean by this, bringing action and chaos to ruin little island. I kind of name dropped someone who was was a fake. Um, I need a new story that I can rely on. I mean, I do realise everything this far, I just don't, don't try to fuck me up with the song that I need to talk in my mind. It's besides it's gone on enough for me to talk in my gun. And some may be like, maybe like, you're screwed your soul, I'm sorry, so maybe I can do but I just need to prove a strong, a strong point with a strong fix. Because if I leave one out, it'll fall down and inflict more damage. Okay, so this is kind of like a filling part here. I need a new squad that I've come alive, need a new set of friends, but because of the expanded third thing that I referenced, squad, I mean, I do realise that a human's flawed, so that kind of also, so squad also kind of rhymes with rely on, I mean, I do realise that a human's flawed, so I have, in the word human, I have a earn sound, which is a semi-rhyme with rely on, so on, uh, but squad sets up rely on, human's flawed, uh, flawed rhymes with squad in the way that I said it, like I said it, like squad that I can rely on. I mean, I do realise every human's flawed. It's kind of like, what I said, bending rhymes to, to force them to work. Just don't try to put me with the song that I need to open my mind. So, saw, open my mind, but saw, as in C, it's kind of like two, two meanings in that, which I kind of done with most of the rhymes on this. Not most of it. This facade's gone on long enough. Um, so this besides going long enough, now I'm starting to go on to the fans and haters with the same thing in mind that I'm in for. It's kind of like a diss at all kinds of sets of people, um, no real, no real main one that I'm going after. I've gone on long enough now, being what took to like my god. And some of them like, yo Scott, you still have lyrics and maybe I did, but I just need to put a point in strong bricks. So if I leave one out, it'll fall down and inflict more damage. So, um, the thing about M's lyrics is he did a song called Rap God. The thing about him is he's constantly kind of talks about how he's been looked up to like a god and how he doesn't like it. I'm kind of using his thing as a metaphor, but not seeing it directly, but um, uh, kind of like a knitting that he, he's talked about this before me. So, I'm not necessarily stealing, stealing his lyrics, um, but, the way that a lot of fans and haters work, haters more say, yo, you stole his lyrics, even though I didn't steal his lyrics. It's mainly talking about the same thing that he talks about, but not the same lyrics, it's just the same meaning and stuff like that. So it's kind of like me, kind of like, now some may be like, yo, you stole his lyrics. Kind of, kind of like that, so I'm kind of like saying it in the song before anybody, anyone else kind of gets the chance to, so I'm kind of like covering multiple bases. And maybe I did, but I just need to prove a point with strong enough bricks because if I leave one out, it'll fall down and inflict more damage. Um, so, maybe I did, but I just need to prove, prove a point with strong enough bricks, so obviously, kind of, kind of like how there's like sturdy platform is kind of like the metaphor, you know, bricks, kind of a like sturdy career. Because if I leave one out, it'll fall down and inflict more damage. So, it's like, I can reference all kinds of things. If I make a mistake in my career, then it could make my career just ruin what all sorts of things I'm covering bases so if I don't cover the bases that I'm setting up to cover then it would be fuck it would be bad and a bad diss kind of track but not really a diss track just a song dissing but also being a good song at the same time well kids that's what happens if you don't tell the whole story some people always twist around to get their own glory well all the butcher and prison is no injury it's all hand in place must be really steady we have to turn a lot of them home with this firm and try to come back to bank, you really must be empty. So what I've done there is, um, if you don't tell a full story, somebody will always twist it around. Even if they don't mean to twist it around and it's still interpretation of the story, still it's not the full story, and they don't have the full story, they're just interpreting it in a certain way, and that's what the media do a lot when it comes to, like, um, things that happen when certain celebrities aren't there, and they'll twist the story that they interpret. Um, on, yeah, they'll interpret it a certain way, and it's not the real way that it should be interpreted, it's not like the real thing. 
Um, so it's kind of like me there. Some people it's just you know, it's pretty wrong glory. So basically to fit what they think it is, or to, you know, they'll twist it around to make make it the way that they want it to sound like. Well, all the British and there's no entry, so I've covered a lot of bases on this song. It's uh, my self-awareness and self-conscious thing that I think I know that I've covered a lot of bases on this. It's all been hemmed in place, must be really sturdy. There's a ton of lot of now I'm holding off his family, so I'm holding off his family, but I've also said I've changed a lot. It's basically the thing on this album, uh, Reflection, I, I have changed a lot, and I am not the same as I was when I first started making music, when I first started in this career, I put songs differently, write songs differently, using different tones and styles, as well as I'm also a different person, I just, I like to think I'm matured, um, but I, you know, I don't know, you can, <laughs> you can decide now, try to come back to my, you really must be empty, so if the, the haters come back, or um, if fakes come back, then they really just must be empty. And this is a uh, first part that I do now in the song. Thank you, Double Vodas, is what happens when you make a couple of Well, no, but you'll listen to the song if it was Charlie's Man's version about when you're the same game and hear Karen for Sonic News and what you will, yeah. Bring your false views on me. Try to, no, try to explain your false views onto me. I'm pretty sure it works. Bring your false views on me. Try to turn my friends this game to be coming up for me. Do you know what I'm going to do? Bitch, you ain't no gem on YouTube. To tell you what, I'm looking at this song with you and speak about some to speak about the story of what I'm going to think of the virus. Can you use a cross for once? No, that's not what it is. Speak my bars when you get some far back. So uh, that's a, it's, it's the first part that I do. So I'll play the first part actually um, in a bit. So to have you to go over that and see what happens when you make a choice. So kind of like me giving you the choice to come clean and then I will dish you again. Uh, when you make a couple of choice, well, no, you listen to something that was chopped with my little voice and the rhythm and the music and kind of sent me a bit earlier. Kind of like a homage to Tamali and kind of like well, what, what he's doing. As, as well as essentially just me also finding new uh, new ways to kind of like add more meanings to this song. It's been false views on me trying to turn my fan mix in case they come up and they know what I'm gonna do, but you wouldn't know gem on YouTube. I'm like a Pokemon kind of thing. I put in there, you know, YouTube. It's kind of obvious what I was going for there. Uh, it's been like, false views on me trying to turn my fan mix against me, so. It's been false views, the media try and turn things against me, thanks, try to like, say a story. So I'll make a distract worthy enough to go off some the speaker. I'll just show you about when I take the device off snooze button, but when you just cross for one spoon, do my bars when you get so far back. We'll stab you in the back and ask why you're bleeding when they do more damage with five enemies. I took these quotes from Astra and I'll go. So yeah, I took, I took those quotes, and those are real quotes. Um, Man, if I was still drunk and pill down, I'd be at with the floor. So now the beat completely changes. This is where I get more dark. And the thing that I spoke about when I first started explaining this, this lyric or this song. Man, if I was still drunk and pill down, I'd be at with the floor. So bleaching, you bitch, you better be ready for a beat. You get your fucking string all this content and caught in the for a game of course. When you're down right, he'll rest my deep in the deep. I'm living. You're permanently asleep. My name's Stephen Avery. I'm living a life on mystery. So, um, what, what, I, uh, what I did with that is if I was still a drunk pill down in February 2016 um, I'd be at a house with clots for bleaching uh, can't go in dark and now like I'm bleach your body you bitches get be, be ready for a beat and get your fucking straining on content and caught I'm ready for a game of coursing you know it, coursing kind of like you know where you hunt it's uh, hunt you down right home with smack digging I'm living you're permanently asleep you just don't able to run your life on the mystery so it didn't keep on living, permanently asleep, but nobody will ever find out because my name's Steve Avery. I'm leaving my life on mystery. Kind of like comparing myself to, well, no, not not comparing myself to Steve Avery, but kind of like being like, I'm going smart about this, so I'm leaving a life on mystery. So um, yeah, I mean, there's also more track info on here. Uh, we didn't buy Dan Chase and Nunchies. Uh, Nunchies didn't actually write it, but he gave me some ideas that I used to write this song. Um, mixing Bruno Fieldy and Finishes Agent and then Chase, Mastering Bruno Fieldy and then Chase. Yeah, Bruno Fieldy, great guy I've from before, and he's worked with uh, like Manic Cyrus and Ariana Grande, so uh, he's really, really experienced with making like um, all kinds of different songs. And uh, yeah, but if if you have any questions about, about this, then uh, make sure you drop, drop a comment down below because uh, there's all kinds of lyrics that I like, you know, um, used on there's all kinds of different types. I'm gonna play a bit of uh, the song for you guys right now so you can check it out. 
Sam Peter Roller does is what happens when you make a crappy choice. Well, no, you listen to the song if it was a track with Marley Voice in the back. We've been bringing the same game in here, carrying precise news on what you really are. Spreading your false views on me, trying to turn my fan base against me, coming at me. Though you know what I'm gonna do, bitch, wait, no gem when me and you. Tell you what, I'll make a diss track with you, that's a wee blast of blue to speak about. I'll destroy you right when I take the device off the screen, but I'll put my music across for one, three, man, buzz. When you get some far back, so. Stab you in the back and then ask why you're bleeding One faker can do more damage than five enemies I take these quotes from extra and Alagu Man if I was still drunk and the pill down I'd be at your house with the quotes of blue chain You bitches better be ready for a beat and get your fucking restraining orders Content I caught I'm ready for a game of coursing Hunting down right hook left smart and digging it deep I'm living You're permanently asleep The name's Stephen Avery I'm leaving a life on mystery So yeah, so yeah, just tell me what you guys think of the song And also like I said, link down in the description to Reflection and uh, I'm also going to leave a link in the description to uh, my genius page, genius.com forward slash artist forward slash emissions. So go check out all the other lyrics. If you want me to do another one explaining another song, then I'm more than happy to do it. But, um, yeah, because I've used all kinds of different types of wordplay and lyrics and meanings and metaphors and countless other songs. So uh, it'd be interesting for me to explain them because it's kind of like, I have, it's hard for me to explain certain lyrics. Because I knew what I was aiming for, I knew I know what it means, but it's the explaining part is the hard one because uh, obviously it might be like a really really layered meaning. So I mean, there's a lot of layered meanings in these lyrics that you probably never thought would actually mean that, but that's what I was aiming for. Um, but yeah, anyway, guys, if you have enjoyed this, then sure like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Until next time. Some bitches give the dogs so death You let them lads to see creep behind your breath They just bounce in, walk behind your creps Blow the bullshit and put you in some debt It doesn't matter who they are, fuck I don't care who they are, I'ma move on Try to get to a better place, turning it on Not gonna take it with pace, I tie my laces Look to them and then just come and wash my face Oh so you don't remember that time you practically sealed yourself in fate Got fired from your part time job that you were working to try to provide for your kid Hawkins a lot you were hanging with, we were too busy getting hanging, thought you were missing out